Breaking news coming in. The murder weapon has been found of Aftab uh, uh, Poonawala, uh, the murder that he committed. So basically the murder weapon that was used to kill Shraddha Walker has been found is the breaking news that is just trickling in. We are getting you more information for now. What we know and what we've been told is that murder weapon has been recovered. This is a big breaking story coming in, uh, viewers. Uh, this is uh, uh, a big one coming in as far as Shraddha Walker's murder probe is concerned. The murder weapon has finally been found. Remember, the police have been investigating this particular case uh, while Aftab remains in judicial custody. Well, he was uh, ordered for 13-day judicial custody and now, as far as Shraddha Walker murder probe is concerned, the murder weapon has been found. Big, big development and probably this will now help the police to piece the pieces of the puzzle together going forward to try to uh, ascertain what really happened over there. Shreya Chatterjee now joins us for the very latest. Shreya, uh, have the Delhi police sources confirmed that this is indeed the murder weapon? Has the DNA testing been done? Where has the murder weapon been found from? Just so many questions coming up. Over to you. Well, yes, uh, Chaiti, massive uh, breaking that is coming our way. We have confirmed this from our Delhi police sources that the weapon that was used in uh, chopping Shraddha's body parts, that has been recovered. It's not exactly what we can call a murder weapon because she was strangled to death, but this was used in chopping her off and uh, it is a very crucial piece of evidence. Yeah, that well, the Delhi there's more, the more information coming in. Aftab has given uh, Shraddha's engagement ring to his new girlfriend is what we're picking up from sources and that's the information just trickling in at the moment. Just when you thought this story was the most shocking of the entire year, it gets worse. Uh, in the Shraddha murder probe, there's more information that is coming in. Number one, murder weapon recovered. It's been found. Aftab gave Shraddha's ring to the new girlfriend. Shraddha's ring given to the girl who visited Aftab. The girlfriend visited when Shraddha's body parts were still lying in the refrigerator. Um, this is the latest coming in. Shreya, I'm throwing straight across you. It's very, very disturbing. Well, this, well, this is the second breaking that you're talking about, Chaiti, is the, the, the ring that was in fact Shraddha's ring, which was given by Aftab to the date that he had bought home. This is the psychologist that we're talking about whom Aftab met through Bumble and they were in a relationship. And it's extremely sad to Anna that there's, there's a ring that was owned by Shraddha, which Aftab had given off to this other girl. But it is a very crucial piece of information coming in because the statement that now this girl has recorded with the Delhi police will corroborate the fact that after murdering Shraddha, this man had also given off the ring of Shraddha to this new girl. Now, her statement has already been recorded by Delhi police. So, two crucial breakthroughs now by Delhi police. One, the weapon that was used to chop off Shraddha's body parts have been recovered. And two, the ring of Shraddha that was missing has now been recovered by Delhi police from the girl that Aftab had bought home while Shraddha's body parts were there inside the fridge. So, this is a massive breakthrough that's coming uh, on the way of Delhi police and will only help them making it a strong case against Aftar Punewala in the Shraddha Walkar murder case, Chaiti. Absolutely. And you know, uh, while you're getting us all these explosive details of the revelation as well, if you could tell us whether the Delhi police sources have even ascertained whether the girlfriend of uh, Aftar, who was given this ring of Shraddha Walker and when she visited, there were Shraddha's body parts lying in the refrigerator. Was she aware of any of this? Well, unfortunately, what we're learning so far, she wasn't aware of it. If she would have been, she would have also been made uh, a complicit in at least destruction of evidence of a crime. Unfortunately, she was not aware of what had taken place in that house. And while she was there, the fact that Shraddha's body parts were still in the fridge is something that she was not aware of. The reason Delhi police could corroborate this is the timeline when this girl was called in. While the girl was called in, it was just a few days after the murder of Shraddha Walker and this man had that kind of an audacity to give away Shraddha's ring, which clearly points that this was a cold-blooded murder. He had zero empathy, he had zero emotions, and just a few days of murdering his living partner, he gives off this ring to another girl whom he invited as a date from Bumble. Her statement has now been recorded by Delhi Police, which is indeed a massive breakthrough in the Shraddha Walker murder case. 
You know, uh, we won't uh, reveal the identity of the woman right there because uh, uh, her involvement has not been established and it will be wrong uh, as we'd like to protect her privacy as well. But I believe that the Delhi police has even questioned this particular girl. What came out of the questioning? Well, yes, Chaiti, the girl, girl has been questioned. Her statement has been recorded by the Delhi police, which will be used as a piece of evidence before the court. And it's uh, through that investigation that Delhi police got to know that this was the ring, which was Shraddha's ring, which was missing. Uh, no ring was discovered from the dismembered body parts that Delhi police had found. So there was missing jewellery. They thought that probably he might have sold it off. But it turns out that this man had gone ahead and given a piece of jewellery that belonged to Shraddha to this girl that he had got for date. And that's now been recovered by the Delhi police, which makes two plus two that Shraddha was last in that house with Aftar Poonawala before he murdered uh, Shraddha and the second big breaking that's right now coming in, the saw, the saw that was used to chop off Shraddha's body parts have finally been recovered by the Delhi police. You know, there have been a lot of revelations that have come out, including that particular note in 2020 that India Today also accessed that Shraddha submitted to the police as well. She later withdrew her complaint as well. So if you could walk our viewers through all the revelations that for sure the Delhi police sources and the other police sources can confirm at the moment to India Today because right now there's been no <laughs> official press conference yes. on this. Well, uh, first and foremost, the reason the Delhi police is still tight-lipped is because they are yet to settle on one single theory that's given in by this man because this man has constantly been changing his statements. The reason why he is inside the FSL right now, where his polygraph is going on and his narco will be happening on the coming Monday. Now, the evidence that the Delhi police already have uh, with them are the statements of Shraddha's friends who have corroborated the history of the relationship, the abusive relationship, the photographs of Shraddha dated 2020, the medical reports of Shraddha dated 2020 when she was in a relationship with Aftab and beaten up. The complaint that we're talking about was a non-cognizable complaint. Even if she withdrew that complaint, it will still be deemed as an evidence before the court and the Delhi police has recovered <coughs> it from uh, the police in uh, Mumbai is what we are learning. Apart from that, the statement of the doctor who had treated Aftab I also, I, also what, what, uh, I also want to understand Shreya, I also want to understand Shreya, if you could tell us a little about this murder weapon that has been recovered uh, by the Delhi police and what all do we know as far as the murder weapon is concerned at the moment? Well, what we do know that this man had actually told Delhi police that barely 150 meters away from the residence where he was staying, there was a shop of a hardware shop from where he bought uh, saws and hammers and uh, nails. Now, the, it was yet to be corroborated by the Delhi police that whether the same saw was used and now what we are learning that the Delhi police has recovered the saw and that is the very saw that was used to chop off Shraddha's body parts. And this is something that he had accepted verbally. He had confessed before the court verbally, but the weapon was yet to be recovered. But now the Delhi police has their hands on the weapon. This is a saw, I again repeat, that was used to chop Shraddha's body this parts. Weapon, and has this weapon been uh, sent to the forensic lab for a DNA analysis uh, uh, of... Uh, uh, yes. Shrad, uh, to, to corroborate uh, Shraddha's DNA with this weapon? Well, absolutely. Uh, two things that the FSL will now be doing. A, they will be trying to find DNA strands of Shraddha from that very weapon that's been sent to the FSL. The second, the kind of cut that this uh, uh, weapon actually does, that will actually have uh, some structural uh, trauma that would be recorded in the bones that have been recovered. That can also be identified by the FSL. So very crucial piece of uh, 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 an evidence that's now been unearthed by Delhi Police, which will be corroborated here at the FSL where I'm standing right now. And also, Remember, the bones have been sent to CFSL, the reports are awaited, but these are crucial piece of evidence that the Delhi police has finally got their hands on, which will help them make this a watertight case against Aftar Punewala for murdering Shraddha in this horrific manner. So obviously the incriminating of evidence will come together once the forensic analysis is over and right now you say that the saw has been recovered. There were other things that he brought from the hardware store as well. Have they been recovered too, like the nails and uh, something else that you mentioned? Yes.
Well, yes, uh, Chaiti, there are multiple weapons that were recovered by the Delhi police because remember this person was changing his statement saying that there was a knife, there was a saw, there was a hammer. The Delhi police had recovered it all but they were yet to zero in on one weapon that was used to chop off the body parts because okay. obviously all the other weapons that we mentioned about would have not been able to chop someone's body parts. Now the Delhi police has corroborated and identified that one weapon that was used to chop her body parts. That is something which is a big breakthrough that is coming in from the investigation of the Delhi police. That's right. This is a huge breakthrough, viewers, to re-encapsulate what we are breaking at the moment. The sh ring that was given to the girl who visited Aftab. Uh, uh, that is the big story that is coming in, that the murder weapon has been found. Aftab gave Shraddha's ring to his new girlfriend, point number two. Point number three, Shraddha's ring given to the girl who visited Aftab. And fourth point is that the girlfriend visited when Shraddha's past was still lying in the refrigerator. This is as horrific as it can be. Viewer discretion is advised with some gory details coming out. But the big one here is that the murder weapon has been found. And this will serve as the key and the lead to the investigation and form the right kind of incriminating evidence that the police and the prosecution would require against Aftab Punawala. Uh, any timeline, Shreya, as to when the reports will be back from the forensic lab? Well, the police believes and hopes that probably by the uh, start of December, they would have a preliminary report, if not the primary report, corroborating that those body parts are indeed of Shraddha. So they're, they're hoping a timeline of the start of December for getting the preliminary reports from uh, the CFSL. And obviously, today the polygraph will happen, likely it will continue till tomorrow. But Monday, on the 5th of December, is when Aftab will be undergoing the narco test in the Ambedkar Hospital, Chaiti. And as far as this... Uh... Uh, lie detector test is concerned uh, at the moment, uh, the polygraph test, what are the updates on that front? Well, it's underway right now. Uh, we are outside the FSL itself in Rohini. The, the polygraph and the lie detector test, whatever we call, was started, uh, it started at 11 in the morning today. It will go till the evening is what we are learning. If uh, the, the, the team is not completely satisfied, we could see <coughs> another round happening tomorrow as well. But one confirmation that we have, that the narco will be happening on a Monday because Mondays are the designated days in the Ambedkar Hospital for narco test to take place. So we'll have to wait till the 5th of December, till after the Punevala goes for a narco test.